everyone and welcome back to my channel this week we're gonna make a new knitted fabric garment and uh, I already made the knitted skirt and uh, I'm gonna make some more in the upcoming weeks and I all also did uh, quite some knitted fabric garments last year so I decided to make a playlist uh, of all the knitted fabric garments that are already made I will leave it down below in the description box if you like you like to check it out because it's a very nice fabric for this season for the fall and also for winter it's very nice to work with I think especially when you uh, use the tips that I give you in the videos and it's always very comfortable to wear but also very classy to wear where you style it very nicely because you normally have a very nice piece uh, to wear and to, to have in your closet and if you're new here welcome I do sewing classes every other week and uh, I do what I call make what you see in the shops and it means that I recreate things that you see online or in the shops that I really like or that someone asked me to make and you can make that to your own sizing so we make the pattern we have basic patterns that we adjust and you make the pattern to your own size but also to your own body type so it's really a pattern just for you so that it will fit you perfectly and it's very nice that because then you know that what you are sewing is really fitting you when you are done and if you like these kinds of videos please consider subscribing and join our family we have a nice growing family here that help each other out if you have any questions you will can leave them down below in the comment section and i will get back to you normally the same day so no problems if you are afraid to start sewing or if you think that you can do it it is so also for beginners because it's really a so a long uh, video every time that you can just go step by step i explain what you have to do how you do it why you do it so that you really know what you are doing and that you're really learning from that and not just watching someone making something and that you think well, okay that was nice but i don't understand how you did it you can really make it yourself step by step by uh, watching the video and just so along so if you like that please consider subscribing so this week we're gonna make a cardigan and i'll give you two options how to make it i show you also the two options it's two different cardigans but they look well they don't really look somewhat the same but the pattern is just somewhat the same you can very easily uh, make adjustments from one to get the other one that's exactly what i'm gonna do and um, especially for the option number two it's uh, important that you have a rather thin, flowy, uh, knitted fabric because uh, we will make a um, waterfall cardigan and that needs that flow to be a waterfall cardigan. Um, I have this fabric, I do option one, but I also show you option two. And this is a rather thin, I'll show you, rather a thin knitted fabric. Uh, a few uh, weeks ago I mentioned in my... Uh, video that I could only find the more thinner knitted fabrics I already now have some more thicker ones so in the upcoming weeks we also, also make some things out of thicker uh, knitted fabrics because that is more nice for the winter but these are very nice for now for fall the more thinner uh, fabrics that are falling more flowily and um, that gives you other options to make them when you have the thicker ones that are more sturdy and you don't can uh, you cannot make more flowy uh, garments out so i'm gonna use this one it's a nice fluffy one with some sparkles i don't know if you can see it they have re woven or knitted some fibers in between that are a little sparkly so it looks very nice i show you what we are gonna make and again on josie's channel here on youtube i will link her channel down below in the description box I saw this really nice cardigan that has no sleeves, it's just straight on, but it's really nice when you uh, wear it with a belt like she did, and it gives that extra layer that also always makes you more put together, more polished when you put that over a t-shirt or a, a jumper or a blouse, and it looks very nice and gives you some extra warmth also. Um, and then when I was preparing for this video, uh, one of my subscribers asked me uh, because she wanted to make a uh, waterfall cardigan and you see here on the right that blue one that she gave as an example and because um, it is very easy to uh, adjust one of the pattern into the other I will also uh, show you how to make this waterfall cardigan and I will make it on one side and then I will adjust it to the one that is Josie wearing because I already have 
have two wonderful cardigans and I don't need another one in my closet. But I wanted to show you how to make it and also how it looks when you do that. So we're going to have two options now uh, what to make your uh, cardigan. And um, I will make this one without sleeves. But if you want to make sleeves, I have uh, quite some tutorials how to make sleeves. Uh, I also have a basic pattern for a sleeve that I always also will link down below. Uh, and in the upcoming few weeks, I also make a cardigan with long sleeves. So if you don't know how to do that yourself, just wait for that uh, tutorial and I will show you how to do that. So what you will need is your basic pattern for a top or dress. And if you don't have that yet, I will link down below in the description box the tutorial how to make this pattern to your own sizing and also to your own body type. So it's really a pattern for you, just for you. And uh, it's very uh, easy to make. Uh, it's not difficult to do, not difficult mathematics or whatever. You can just uh, draw it uh, to your measurements, I explained very clearly. And then you keep it because you can use it over and over again. And uh, you don't have to do it again. And we all, all always use our basic patterns and we make adjustments to that. So it's very handy to have that. So you take your basic pattern for a top. And um, I put another piece of paper underneath it. And I trace down here the neck hole for the back. Because we're going to use that later. I traced my uh, shoulder seam. And what I did is because I want my cardigan of course be wider than the other clothing that I'm wearing underneath. I added to my waistline 4 centimeters, and then I made a straight line from the shoulder seam going all the way down and that means for me on my hip width I added 2 centimeters. So if you want um, more width here around your hip size just make the line going more out. But I think for me that is enough because I have just a sm uh, size small or extra small so this is enough and if I have 4 centimeters here to cinch it in that is more than enough otherwise I get too much fabric here uh, underneath my uh, belt. So you do that. Um, this is just straight, this is just straight. Uh, you don't need an armhole or whatever, we're just gonna sew in our side seam to the width, uh, to the height of your armhole so you can mark that here. Or you can make it lower if you want the armor to be wider, whatever you like. And I put a piece of paper here to the right because I have some markings also for the waterfall cardigan. And I thought it was not really clear if I had that inside. Then what you do here is your um, mid front part. I didn't do it right, let's see now. Is it my front mid front? Oh no, no, I did it right. This is your shoulder, uh, the end of your shoulder. That is normally going into the neck hole. And instead of making that curve, what you do is you go down. Because you want here a sort of a V opening for the front, the mid front of your cardigan. Um, and I made it just going down. Made it here also around 4 centimeters, 3 4 centimeters wider at my uh, waistline. Uh, just for the overlap. It's not for the width, but it's more because you want the uh, front parts to uh, overlap each other when you close it up with a belt or whatever you do maybe you can put a button in or something and then there i go straight down to the end of my cardigan so measure how long you want your cardigan to be i make mine to around uh, knee length but you can of course make any length that you like so this is your front pattern very easy just straight on uh, for the back you will just have your wider neck hole and then your normal um, mid back seam here and the same width you can add so this line will also be the same for your back pattern so that is for the first option if you want to make the uh, waterfall cardigan you have some options that you can do um, I made three options you can choose from and it's a bit depending on your body type or your preference what you can do you will start again here at the end of your shoulder seam and then you go make a curve and I mirrored my um, basic pattern that was here. I mirrored it to the other side to see how wide it would be and I marked it here with this dotted line so that I can see where does it end if I have just one whole pattern because I want this line to go in uh, at least to my other side but preferably a little bit further so I marked it going down 
and then uh, around two centimeters wider than normally here my side seam will be for the other side of the uh, pattern so that means that when you have two parts of this the two front parts for the waterfall cardigan uh, are overlapping your whole front body because the left one ends at the right side seam and the right one ends at the left side seam so you can make that curve that's the curve that i'm going to make to show you what it looks like then you can also make it a little bit wider here on top that means that you get more um, fabric here on the top and especially when you have a bigger bust that can be very nice because then you get some more pleats here also on top then you can make that curve a little bit wider and you end just the same as this curve that i just showed you what you also can do is just going uh, further down in the beginning and then make it a kind of a round neck hole say it like call it like that so you go like this and then here you curve it up to just uh, the same as the other curve or that curve but i don't think this one will work because you already took off here fabric from the bust line so then i would go on with this line and then you have um, less fabric here if you prefer it if you don't want that bulk here when you make this curve it's not that much as when you make the curve here um, of course round it out here and what you get when you do this um, because this is a way longer line than this one here on the bottom your fabric will make folds when you put this to the mid front where it will be when you put it on because here and your shoulder so this whole fabric will go together like this and then you get pleats here at, at the bottom and because this line is way longer than this line it will the point here in the mid front will be longer so your um, seam your hem on the bottom will go am i still in frame now put it a bit will be a bit like this because your mid front will be longer than your side seam and you will see that when i show you what it looks like when i cut it like this uh, how it will look and if you don't want the mid front to be longer so that it is like in a bit in a point pleated in a point then you can also round out here your um, hemline going like this so that the length from your shoulder to this point will be the same as the length from your shoulder to that point if i make sense i will uh, show you when i try it on and i show you how it looks how you can change that if you don't really like that look but because you have really almost two times the fabric you get really nice waterfall pleats here on the hemline when you make it like this so that and of course the back will be the same for the waterfall cardigan as uh, for the first option so you have quite some options to do um, they all look just a little bit different but i hope you understand what i mean what the difference will be if you uh, do it like that so i cut my pieces out and i measured how low i want my armhole to be and I made mine 26 centimeters. That is around 4 centimeters more than I normally do because I want to be able to wear this uh, over uh, jumper. So I have, I need more room here in my armhole. So I mark that on my uh, patterns. Then we're going to start with sewing the uh, shoulder seam. So put your front pieces on top of your back pieces and so those shoulder seams and don't sew yet the side seams because first we're gonna finish the armhole openings because then it is easier to uh, make the um, side seams and uh, it also finishing the bottom of your armor so just do your shoulder seams shoulder seams are sewn now what we're going to do first is hem here the armholes and make sure you have marked to where your armhole should be and then what you do is you just make a small rolled hem here uh, until that marking that you made and um, it's just a very simple you just let it go till the end of your marking and just Roll it over. And 
en doe dat voor de armhole, uh, the whole armhole, so in the front, going over the shoulder seam to the marking on your back. And then sew that down. So the side seams, so make sure this is nicely flat, your shoulder seam, match up your um, armhole pieces and then where your armhole ends, you're gonna start your side seam. So match up your side seams and just sew a little bit over your finished armholes to close that up and give it a good back stitch so that it won't rip open because there can be some tension here of course. And then you can just <coughs> normally sew your side seam as you should do on both sides. So I started with the pattern for the waterfall cardigan um, but because I'm uh, not gonna finish it, I'm gonna change it into the first option cardigan um, I'm not gonna finish here the uh, front parts and the neck hole in the back but if you are sticking to the waterfall cardigan you can do that now just also like the armholes, make a small hem here going from the bottom all the way around through the neck hole in the back and then to the other side and hemming the bottom of your uh, cardigan and then you're done I wouldn't recommend putting pockets on this one because you like this to be flowy like you see now already when you lay it down it is nice and flowy so uh, don't do that but just finish it uh, I will first um, film this uh, having it on to show you what it looks like when it's on and then I come back and I will uh, make the adjustments to the other cardigan so if you are not really sure which one to make, you can start first with waterfall. If it doesn't uh, to, is, is to your taste, then you can change it in the other option. The other way around is not possible. So when you're not sure, always start with the waterfall because it has more uh, fabric here. Because now I'm gonna cut here all with my pattern a whole lot of this piece. And uh, then we're gonna continue with the option number one cut. So I just filmed how this looked on and it's very nice. Uh, you see that at the end of the video you see the end results also of that waterfall cardigan. I'm now going to change it into the normal cardigan option number one. And I uh, took my, paper, my uh, pattern again. I cut off the waterfall piece. So the extra fabric that I had here on the side I cut that off. And now I'm going to change my two front pieces into this shape. So I'm going to cut off here the middle parts of the two front parts. So I cut off my extra fabric and now I'm going to finish here the whole front seam with the neck hole in the back. And you can also immediately do turn that into the hem on the bottom. So hem the whole raw edges all around. And you can do that with just a normal small rolled hem as you did here for the armhole just by folding it in once, folding it in twice and uh, then you have a nicely finished uh, hemline.
last but not least, we're gonna make some pockets. Um, I cut two pockets uh, that are 28 centimeters by 17, and the top five centimeters uh, is the facing for the pocket. Uh, so make sure you finish first all the uh, uh, edges and then fold that top part in and sew the sides so that you can flip this over and the top parts are then already finished and then just uh, uh, sew them on with just a small hem fold it in and uh, where to put them is make sure you put just first your cardigan on and see what is the pla best placement for your pockets because it's depending on your uh, length and on your body type what is the nicest place to put them so try it on and then pin the pockets where you think you can put them best and then sew them on and then your cardigan is done This is cardigan option one. <coughs> nice with a belt. You can also put buttons in, of course, but I like it loose so that I can also uh, wear it loose. And it is really nice, like this, I think. Nice big pockets. I uh, uh, put a uh, blouse underneath. Of course, you can put a long sleeve underneath or a sweater, a jumper, whatever you like. The, I made my arm almost rather big so that I could really put a thick sweater underneath. And then you have this extra layer for warmth, but also the uh, third layer always looks more put together. And I think it's a really nice and classy one. You can dress it up, dress it down. <coughs> and it's a very nice piece to have. I think the material is really nice with this fluffiness. It gives it a little bit more than just a plain knit. And um, well, I'm very happy with the result. And I show you now option number two, the waterfall cardigan that I already filmed before before I finished this all up because I had to cut off quite some piece of my fabric here in the front. So I show you now the waterfall cardigan. So, and this is the waterfall cardigan. I hope you can see it. I don't know if you can see the bottom uh, because it has these nice pleats here that go very flowy on the bottom. The front is a little bit longer than the back and that is because this line, the mid front is longer than going straight down. And uh, as I said, it is finished yet because I'm going to transfer this into the other option and I didn't want to waste any uh, fabric or any time. But you see it is nice and flowy when you take the other two options going more out or going in that curve. You even get more um, fabric here but also more length. So the point here, the longest point, will be even longer. And if you like that, certainly try one of the other two out. If you don't like that, this is not really too much, but if you don't like it, just make it till here and then cut off the bottom in somewhat of curve so that it will be round. So when you have it on, cut it straight on. When you have it uh, that laying down on your table, cut it in a curve so that all the lines are the same length as your shoulder uh, side seam length. But it's a very nice and flowy piece, this one. Uh, as I said, I already have two, so I'm not going to convert this into the other option because I don't need any more of this. But it's a very nice uh, thing to have. I put it over a long sleeve because it's not really that cold now here. But you can also put it over a sweater or a jumper. And then you have nice extra layer for warmth, but also just to look more put together. So these were the two cardigans. I hope you liked them. Uh, if you want to make them with sleeves, you can of course do that too. Uh, when you take another fabric, you can also make them both because they don't really look alike, although the pattern is rather much the same. Uh, not difficult, just a bit larger. So you can make them both or you can make one with sleeves or whatever you like. It's a really nice cardigan to have. And also without a belt, it is very nice to have to put on. Uh, in the evening when it gets colder or something like that. So I hope you like this one. 
Uh, if you do, please consider subscribing. If you haven't done yet, if you have, thank you so much. Welcome in the family. Our family is nicely growing. And uh, we have uh, some quite some more uh, knitted fabric garments coming up. I also found some more thicker uh, knits. So uh, if you like them, please uh, stay here and come back next time. And uh, you will see what I'll make then. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.